Hey everybody, it's Colette Baron reed Welcome to this week's uh, Oracle Card lesson and Universal Energy Forecast. And we are at what? Well, this is July the 30th. <laughs> so um, this week we begin again with Wisdom of the Oracle. And the first card, which we call the Anchor card, is Loyal Heart. And I love this card because it implies a loyalty in relationships. And that's really the focus of this week is who are our family of choice, who are our chosen friends, who are we in um, uh, strategic alignment with, um, who do we work with, how do we actually have relationships between ourselves and others, but also what is the relationship that we have to ourselves and to the dreams that we have. Um, the second card tells us a little bit more about Loyal Heart, like what's it about? What is what is being either challenged or supported this week? And round and round uh, is the card that reminds me of something called fractal time, and Greg Braden te teaches about that, how everything has patterns in it, and that sometimes we think we're going backwards, but we're actually not. We're meeting ourselves. Uh, if you look at a spiral, it goes like this, up and around, and each time we hit what feels to be the same point, we're actually uh, looking at it from a different angle. So this is a week that we can kind of recalibrate and rethink our relationships. Um, and actually, I think we just entered Mercury retrograde too, so that's kind of the perfect time to do that. Um, what's great about the next card, which is change in the wind, is it implies that there is healing change, that things don't stay the same, that there's a wind blowing, and we don't have a lot of control about where this goes, but if we set our intention for the highest good, then we know that these changes that are upon us or that, that come as a result of you know, meeting ourselves at certain layers of patterning and going, okay, you know, like, do I really want to repeat this or I need to make a change? And so therefore this tells us this is a perfect time to make that change. Um, now, I love when, when cards tell you that you need to stay in the now and not to go too far into the future, especially when it implies there's a change, I love it because here and now is the card that concludes this week, which is to tell us that the future is created in the now. Every choice we make, every thought we think, um, every behavior, you know, whether we are um, conscious or asleep, all everything that happens in 24 hours has a reverberation on what's possible for the future. And so this is reminding us that you can't solve something um, down the road if you aren't clear about your now or where you've come from or what pattern it is that you're seeing. So this is a contemplative week where you're really looking at, hmm, what are these patterns? What reminds me of the past? What could I do differently? And then only remember you have to do it in a 24 hour compartment. So this week it's about slowing down and uh, I love it. So I will see you next week. Oh, don't forget, um, ColetteBaronReed.com forward slash pick. You're gonna wanna pick your personal cards. If you've never done this before, you can pick any one of my Oracle card decks and really, really enjoy how all of this makes sense once you've added your three cards. You'll see how the four universal cards, which for, for everybody, also connects with your three cards because it'll be a very um, intimate reading then for you. Okay, see you next week. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and don't forget to go to colettebaronreed.com forward slash pick to choose your three cards. I've seen the future. It's beautiful.